Seven things you probably didn't know, you need to know. I'm Jamie Easton, and this, this is the Smart 7. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday the 24th of July, and it's Tequila Day. And a big happy birthday to Linda Carter, Anna Paquin, Jennifer Lopez, and Danny Dyer, mate. As coronavirus cases grow around the world, with the US going from 3 million confirmed cases to 4 million in just 15 days, the government here has introduced new rules on face masks since midnight. After much tabloid rowing and ministerial confusion, the new official guidance is to wear a mask on public transport and in shops, essentially in closed spaces. Channel 4 News spoke to Keir Starmer. Whether it was confusing in the past or not, um, all very well, but follow the government's advice would be my message uh, to the public. From midnight, face masks will have to be worn in shops, supermarkets, shopping centres and transport hubs. Refusing to wear a mask when you should could land you with a £100 fine. The rules will not apply to children under 11 and people with certain disabilities or health conditions. Boris was in Scotland for a day trip and took the opportunity to be very positive about the union between Scotland and England. The union is a fantastically strong uh, institution. It's helped our country uh, through thick and thin. Uh, it's very, very valuable in terms of the, uh, the support we've been able to give to everybody throughout all uh, corners of the, of the UK. And, uh, you know, we had a referendum on uh, on on breaking up the union uh, a few years ago, so I think only six years ago. That is not uh, that is not a generation by any computation. Nicola Sturgeon, yeah, not so much. Campaigning right now is not my priority. Boris Johnson has every right to be on a campaign visit to Scotland today in his shoes. It's not how I would be choosing to spend my time given what we are facing right now. In the United States, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC as she's known, is a high-profile first-term Democrat congresswoman from New York. Young, energetic and full of charisma, she's been the target of Republicans, including most recently John Yoho, who had a row with her on the steps of the Capitol building. He eventually half-heartedly apologised, but she'd had enough, and she really went for it on the floor of Congress. Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. There were reporters in the front of the Capitol, and in front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, a All of us have had to deal with this in some form, some way, some shape, at some point in our lives. The Johnny Depp libel trial against the Sun newspaper continues with day four of Amber Heard's evidence, and the court heard from a sister who described begging Amber not to marry Johnny. There were also text messages from Amber to her mum, read out in court as ITV's Juliet Bremner reports. He's nuts, mum. Violent and crazy. I'm heartbroken that this is who I love. But she reassured her mother, he's not being violent with me, just raging in general. She claimed that, in fact, he'd bruised her arm, but she didn't want her father to find out, so she'd hidden the truth. Hey, it's been a big week for Mike Tyson. First, he's fighting a shark. Yep, for Shark Week on Discovery Channel. Now he's launched a new venture called the Legends Only League and a comeback to boxing with an exhibition match against Roy Jones. The Legends Only League promises to bring back the best, I think they mean old, in boxing, basketball, tennis and more. I'll let Mike do the explaining thing. Hey. Hey, I'm Mike Tyson, and me and my associates, we're founding a new league called Legends Only. And it's a league not only for fighters to perform, even though they still have their legendary skills. We're talking about baseball players, basketball players, soccer players, all kind of leagues. Everybody who society say they're too old, they're over the hill, but they still have it in them. Come with us. Get your agent, get your manager, come to get with me, and you're living your glory years for a second time. Donald Trump's niece, Mary Trump, who's a clinical psychologist, has had a massive bestseller with her book about him, Too Much and Never Enough, which has sold 1.3 million copies in its first week. 
She was on with Stephen Colbert, who asked her about the cognitive test Trump keeps bragging about. From what I understand, and I don't know precisely what the test is, uh, I mean, I never used it myself because I worked with a totally different uh, kind of patient, but that it's it's a test to uh, screen for uh, early signs of dementia, I believe. Um, so, you know, we don't know, we don't know uh, how he did on it, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, his talking about it the way he's talking about it is failing the test. Wow, what an outrageous thing to say, right? Remember the first question, not the first, but the tenth question? Give us that again. Can you do that again? And you go person, woman, man, camera, TV. If you get it in order, you get extra points. Cameron Diaz popped up on Jimmy Fallon's show and she's a new mum, having had her baby Radix hmm, seven months ago with her husband, good Charlotte guitarist Benji Madden, and she seems incredibly happy with life. Heaven. It's been heaven, Jimmy. I, you know, you get to, you just got to spend four months with the girls and yeah. you get to have every moment and it goes so fast. Yeah. And you really understand that when people, you know, have always said to me, you know, really enjoy the time when yes. they're seeing so fast and literally every single day there's just a, there's leaps and bounds and these things that happen that she's not the same baby she was yesterday man camera woman oh, it's harder than you think this has been the smart seven be smart wear a mask we've got an alexa skill now so enable us and then just say alexa play the smart seven we're back tomorrow at 7 a.m like and subscribe wherever you get your podcast